Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see how to make objects into water. All right, this is a scene you guys already saw, and uh, we are converting Roberto here into water. All right, so this is gonna be really, really, really simple. And I always try to take the simplest approach for this stuff, so this is gonna be way simple. Alright, so we start with Roberto, we just have Roberto here. And I have some stuff here already, just so, so I don't start from, oh, very, really, really, so I don't start from um, scratch. Uh, if we go, if we go inside Roberto, you can see we have just uh, a few Boolean objects, just this Boolean is just to make it solid, so it doesn't have separate parts like that. And then in this side, we just uh, cutting it with a box. You can see I have a box which is animated going uh, like that. And I'm just cutting Roberto there. I'm making uh, another box here. So I'm creating like, you can see there's another box there, another copy just to intersect those two boxes and create just one box. You could just create this box for uh, uh, by itself without creating another copy, but I just like the idea to have this so I can maybe even uh, control the thickness I have, whatever. Right? It's simple. You can just make the detector with the box. Uh, in my case, I made that. Then I just create another Boolean here with an intersection operation. And then we just cut in Roberto there. We're just grabbing the part that is uh, intersecting that box. And now you can see we're just doing that. Just creating that area, which is going to be the emission area. And we are going to emit the fluid from that area. So I created a, a null here and I just call that flip emission. All right. So now I, then I just made another Boolean here and just with the, the previous box, uh, that's why I created uh, this kind of setup. So I can just use this or this for the two different setups. But now you can see here that uh, I'm just cutting Roberto. And if we see the emission part here as a template, you can see that's on top of this. See, that's a template. You can see the template. This is where we're going to emit the fluid. And then this is what we're going to be uh, like seeing in the scene. It's going to be the, the uh, mesh that is going to be left behind or it's going to be cutting away from. So now we have uh, this. This is going to be the collision. It's going to be the fluid, the flip fluid. Now there's a, a something that you have to consider here you have to you need to have a uh, geometry at the first frame like we can see we have there we have just a little bit of roberto there if you if you have nothing like if you move the box at the beginning uh, higher and there's nothing at frame one uh the flip fluid uh tool is going to complain so just do this and if you once you have it set up you can move your box if you that's what you need uh, in my case, I just leave, leave, it, leave it like that and it's it's all right. So now we have Roberto there. Uh, it's going to be the emission port. So I make, made another object here. So I just imported that emission part. So I have those two separate. And here I can just have this displaying that. And this will be displaying that. So I just have the, the part that's going to be there and the part that's going to emit here. So I'm going to select this guy and go to the flip fluids, um, the particle fluids here, uh, tab and, and say, uh, emit from emit particle fluid. Click that guy, select that guy, press enter. It's going to create uh, the setup. And now you can see we have a huge, uh, ball or of, uh, fluid there or a source that's going to be emitting from. So let me organize this. It's going to be the one. This is the particle fluid, the fluid interior, and uh, the background, which is a, that's another thing. So we have this. If we go inside, you can see we are already emitting fluid from that, which is pretty cool. You can see it's emitting fluid from that area that it's being cut. You can see it's moving, the area it's moving down, but the fluid's going down uh, immediately, which is not what we want. If we see here, you can see it's emitting from Roberto. And it's kind of working already. So we need to make a few changes to make it a little bit more interesting. 
and I want the water to go up first, like kind of a uh, being disturbed, like uh, that kind of effect that I did for the preview. So in the flip source. First, you can see this is huge. The area that it's emitting from, it's amazingly huge. So what I did for this, I just uh, made the division size smaller for this. So instead of having that uh, huge uh, division size, I just made it like 0 0.15, I think, kind of like that. And the border value, I just changed it to zero. Uh, I don't even know if that it made a change, but uh, that's what I did. Uh, then I changed the edge location as well to make it more closer to what uh, the area it's going to be emitting from because first it was just a huge ball. So there we go. There we have that and it should look now. Let me hide that. Should look a little bit better now when we emit. But now you can see there's two uh, little particles. There's um, not enough particles there. That's because the separation here it's too big. And the area that it's emitting from, it's too small. So we need more separation here. Let me just put it to 0 0.07 for now, because this will get heavy. As you know, of water is not a, one of those things that it's really simple to do, but you can see now it's working. It's really, really working. And the effect is really simple. So it's not that complex to create this kind of effect. And you will maybe think like, oh, it's going to look weird because the water, it's, it's just on top and this will be cut there. But it doesn't. It looks pretty well uh, once everything is together. So something else that we need to do here in the uh, flip source. Uh, again, I'm in the flip source here. We're going to add some velocity to this. So go to the velocity tab here in the fluid source velocities and we're going to add velocity going up so we're going to say going up yeah it's going up right now in y and we have the velocity the representation there but to make it more interesting we go to the curl tab uh, here and enable curl noise and that's going to give us a uh, more interesting noise um, for uh for the for the water when it's splashing about in on top of him. So let's make the swirl size a little bit smaller so we have more more of a swirly effect there. So 0.6 maybe and uh, maybe less grainy. Actually maybe even more grainy. Well you can play with this uh however you want your your uh turbulence or your velocity to look for like and uh, let's uh, make the pulse length smaller so it changes a lot more between frames. So you can see this is what's going to happen. You can see the velocities are moving and it's going to be splashing the particles up. Um, all right, so now let's go back to the simulation area and see what's happening here. Uh, now you can see the particles are going up. If we show Roberto, you can see they are not going instantly down. You can see they're splashing up. And, and you can just uh, tweak this to your taste, see how much of those particles you want them uh, going up before they go, uh, the gravity takes over. And uh, that looks pretty good uh, for me. You can maybe even tweak it, uh, make it a little bit uh, harder for the, the uh, velocity to go up. You can scale the velocity here actually, so you can put that to two. Oh, and actually we are not adding velocity here. So maybe if we add the velocity, let's see if that makes it better. All right, cool. Yeah, it's you can see the particles are splashing up. You can see the, the particles splashing up and then uh, the gravity takes over and then start going down. That looks pretty cool. All right, so now you, you can just tweak this, add more uh, effects here for your for your fluid uh, flip object, and then add more stuff to this, and uh, just uh, make it look however you like this. Uh, the other thing I did here is if from Roberto, you can see I have this as a collision. So I, what I did is just made this Roberto as a collision object as well, the forming object. Just click here, and it's gonna add that to the uh, simulation here. You can see press L to lay out the uh, controls. You can see Roberto here. It's uh, being 
shown as a collision object, which is pretty cool. So the particles that are going up and coming down, are they're going to collide with this. Uh, you can make this a little bit smaller because right now it's a little bit too, uh, too uh, rough. But you can see the collision is going to be uh, regenerating because we chose the option of for uh, the forming object. It's going to be doing that. You can see collision might be uh, still too coarse, but uh, you can uh, tweak this division size to your uh, liking and have your collision be as detailed as you want. Uh, all right, so this is going to be the collision object. And the particles should be already there, but I'm um, just not looking at the result. Okay, now the only other thing here I did. So yeah, you can see everything is working perfectly. All right, so I, I, we don't actually need to add this velocity here. It's already getting the velocity from the attribute. So I've just uh, removed this so I, we don't see that stuff there because it's already inherent the velocity from the attributes. But we can still control it here, so that's cool. Um, let me see what else did I do because this was basically the the whole setup. It's that now that uh, you have this, you, the only thing you need to do now should it should be just to get more particles into the uh, simulation and put your separation way lower because that it's just not gonna be enough particles you can see even at this resolution it's not enough we need more particles so you're gonna need a lot of particles for this effect to look cool don't uh, don't be cheap on the particle side you're gonna need a lot of particles and I, I even crashed my computer because I went too far with the particles but uh, uh, you can see now that's starting to look really nice Roberto's looking cool awesome but so now that we let me just uh, simulate a few frames with more particles and we can see uh, how we can uh, render this and mesh it. Okay, so I have a few frames here. You can see it's starting to look really nice uh, that the swirling and the uh, velocity makes it look really nice. Um, and Roberto is getting converted into a big splash of water. And the other thing I did here is create a ground plane. So go to the collision tab, create a ground plane so we can have the particles falling in the ground if, if that's what you want. Uh, in my case, I do want that. Let me put it lower because I have Roberto a little bit higher. And uh, that's what I did for mine. Just make the particles fall into the ground. You can make, make it, maybe make a ball for Roberto and the particles will be falling there. And you can even uh, reverse this effect and make Roberto kind of appear from water. Uh, which will be really nice as well. So now, when when you have your simulation as as the way you want it to look, you you, you tweak your velocities and everything. You just uh, go for your particle separation again, as slow as you can handle is the key, or just make different passes of it. Uh, because water, if it's not this, it doesn't have enough particles. It's gonna look fake. So let's go now to the particle fluid and here in the particle fluid, that's two sections. And in this two section, this is first is the particles here. If we go here to the surface preview, this is going to be like a preview of how the surface is going to look. Oh, sorry. This is the surface. Actually, this is the, um, the particles here because we are importing the particles here and then we can save the particles here. You should be saving this when you have your high resolution. Just save this to this. And this is how you preview your particles. And then it goes to this next section, which is the meshing part of this. And now if you, if you click one of these guys, you can see this is the mesh that's going to look, how it's going to look like. And as you can see, the, the mesh looks a little bit blobby because there's not enough particles. Uh, so you need more particles to this for this to look really nice. You can go and, and apply some filters here. Uh, I, I do recommend you go and, and make some uh, filtering here which will make your particles look your machine look a little bit better but again it all depends on, on the resolution of this it doesn't have enough resolution it's going to look uh, too blobby and then once once you have uh, your high resolution as well um, as you like it you can just cache it here and you can just then render it uh, by default it does create some material for it for mantra 
Uh, there's another tutorial for you guys if you want to render it with Redshift, but uh, if you just want to render this directly with uh, with Mantra, we just create a PBR node here. Uh, we already have a camera. I don't have any lights because these lights are uh, from Redshift. I have a backdrop just to create something there. We can create a, let me just create really quickly on uh, Skylight. And then we can just go to Mantra and render this really quickly. All right, so as you can see, this is is looking like a fluid here. And the other thing I did to mesh these two guys together, I didn't mesh them together in any other way, but actually just in the shader, uh, I just I'll apply the same shader to this Roberto. Uh, let's apply the liquid one there. Now, if I apply that shader, let me render this again. All right, cool. So you can see now just by applying the shader to uh, Roberto here, the, the, the mesh look like it's sticking together. And when this is uh, all rendered and, uh, um, and has motion blur and all the stuff, this will not even be noticeable at all. Uh, the other thing you can do, which I actually did, is just maybe uh, uh, retime one of these two effects, like maybe the, the uh, Roberto leave it at one or two frames behind so it kind of meshes a little bit more into the water here and that will give you a even seem a better seam or stimulus looking effect here but you can see just by doing that it this looks really nice and it's gonna look like where to it's just turning into water all right guys i hope you enjoyed this one uh it's a pretty simple stuff to do it's not complex at all uh it's something that everyone can do in houdini I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make with this technique. If you feel like Mix Rainy has helped you and you want to help us, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Thank you. Alright guys, let's keep learning together. This is Better Mix and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!